Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be playing Labrum Gab Carl Gastic Bypass, whatever. Labrum Gab Lap Laparos Lap Yeah, whatever. Welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual laparoscopic R&Y uh, gastric bypass easy. surgery. I'm Dr. Jeff, that's and I'll be title. your guide for this procedure. Are you ready? No. Let's scrub in. Okay. Gastric bypass surgery is designed to assist an obese patient in weight control. In this operation, we'll create a very small stomach pouch from the existing stomach. We'll then attach the reduced section of the stomach to the small intestine. There are several common types of gastric bypass surgeries. We've recommended laparoscopic RNY gastric bypass surgery for our patient. The procedure will usually take two hours to perform, but with skills like mine and the magic of the internet, I bet we can whip this stomach into shape in about mm, five minutes. Five minutes? All right. Our patient has been prepared for the procedure with a mild sedative, and now the anesthesiologist places a mask over her nose and mouth, and she'll drift off into dreamland. From here, we'll place an endotracheal tube ah. down the patient's throat. You're up. See if you can get the tube into place. Click, click, click. Great work. This tube is then connected to a respirator. Ah. <laughs> the patient is ready to go. Now we can begin anything. our laparoscopic procedure. The first thing we'll do is make six half-inch incisions in the abdomen. Slide the scalpel in where I have marked to make the incisions. Be careful. These are small incisions. So Don't get carried away. Slice, 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 there are bruises Nice technique. It. You must have an excellent teacher. Oh, wait, that's me. Look, you Next, are not excellent. we'll place a device called a trocar into each incision. Ah, hey, hey, squishy, sounding. Okay. These devices allow us to easily slide the instruments into the abdomen. Some of the instruments we'll use include a light and a camera, so we can see what we're doing on a video monitor, as well as the surgical boop, instruments, boop, such as... Okay, now, to, to give us talking. plenty of room to work, we fill the abdomen <laughs> with carbon dioxide. <laughs> Let's face it, with a newbie helping out, we'll need all the room we can get. Time to start the gastric bypass. We'll use this monitor okay. here to see our work. In R&Y gastric oh, bypass, sorry, we eliminate up to 90% of the stomach like by making the patient's ago. stomach the size of an egg. egg. We do this by first placing a line of staples that separate the smaller new stomach from the whole old one. Then we sew along the staple line to make sure there are no leaks. As the patient heals, scar tissue will form to create a permanent separation. <laughs> Click the stapler where indicated to create the new stomach pouch. Staple, 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 staple. We'll now separate the small intestine from the old stomach, about two feet down. Staple, staple, or cutty, cutty. The lower part of the intestine will be connected to the new, smaller stomach, with a half-inch opening between the stomach and the intestine. It's kind of like rerouting traffic on the 405. <laughs> Use the electro-cautery device to create a half-inch opening where indicated in the new stomach pouch. Sizzle, sizzle. Now, drag the loose end of the intestine to the new stomach pouch to attach it. Let me click it! Let me click it! Oh, wait, I literally got click and drag. It's so laggy. I'll yeah. add some sutures oh, to wow. hold now it all it in place. Lag. Now it doesn't lag. Because we need the secretions from the old stomach to assist in digestion, it gets reattached to the small intestine several feet below the new stomach. Okay. This part takes some guts. I what? need you to drag <laughs> the free end of the intestine attached to the old stomach over to the spot. Again, I'll suture it all into place. The new yeah, smaller stomach guts. pouch was created. Literally. Everything has been Literally reattached, and we checked for any leaks in the sutures. This new configuration allows our patient to feel full sooner when eating, but also lets the fluids from their original stomach aid in the digestive the process. That's I'll need you to away. remove each of the laparoscopic instruments and trocars. Now we need Squishy to suture sound. each of the incisions. Nice work. And I bet that won't even leave a scar. 
Now our patient goes off to recovery. In most cases, they'll spend a few days here in the hospital so we can monitor their progress. Afterward, our patient will meet with her doctor and a nutritional specialist. They will assist her with her new lifestyle and eating habits. You've been a great help. Why not try another fantastic surgery at SurgerySquad.com? Alrighty, I will play another game. And yeah, alright, see you at the next game. Okay, we're going to be playing liposuction. If you don't know what liposuction is, it means you're sucking the fat out of your stomach. Also, guys, um, I'm sorry. This is starting to go pretty far, and I'm almost done with the surgery squad thing. And yeah, but I hope you guys like don't get pissed. I'm tired. Welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual abdominal liposuction. <laughs> I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll be assisting you with this I'm surgery so today. Tired. Liposuction is a minimally invasive surgical procedure that is used to remove fat deposits from various areas of the body. The areas that liposuction is generally performed are the abdomen, hips, inner and outer thighs, flanks or love handles, and inner arms. Today we'll be using the Tumacent technique to remove fat deposits from our patient's abdomen. The word Tumacent means swollen and firm. And with this technique, we'll be injecting such a large volume of the fluid into the fat deposits that our patient's abdomen literally becomes tumescent. After injecting the fluid, we'll be using a hollow metal tube <coughs> called a cannula to break up and essentially vacuum <coughs> fat deposits out of the body. Before we begin, remember that liposuction is not an alternative to diet and exercise. And, unfortunately, not everyone is a good candidate for liposuction. To be a good candidate, one must usually be over 18 years old, in good general health, be within 30% of their ideal weight, and have made an honest attempt at losing weight through dieting and exercise with little success. Luckily, our patient is not only a great candidate for light perception, uh, but she doesn't smoke, litter. which will greatly speed up the recovery yeah. process. Now that we've covered yeah, the we basics, let's scrub in. Shut up. The first thing we need to do is Shut mark you. the target area. This provides our patient and ourselves with a clear idea of where we'll be removing fat deposits. Girl, you cannot Why don't you give up. it a shot? Shut up! Oh wow, well, right in the middle too. Do, 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 do. I know you're gonna just fix my marks, even though my marks are beautiful. And like, I am the, I'm a better drawer than you. you that looks jelly. great! Now we need to take photos of our patient Let's so she can you. see the before and after results. Go ahead and take one picture of the front of the patient's abdomen and one picture of the side. I want that battery to go down. Go down battery. Down, down. Nick. Next, we'll have our patient <coughs> turn to the side so you can take the second picture. Nick. Nice composition. Our patient has been prepped and is now in the operating room. Right, the next step is to numb the incision points that we're going to use to extract stomach. the fat deposits. Give it a try. Or we can inject this stuff. Click, click. Click. With the All incision right. points numbed, we're going to inject the tumescent fluid using an infiltration cannula. Cut to it. anesthetize the target areas and dislodge the fat deposits, Cut. making it easier to suck All right, them out. hurry the fuck up. Go ahead and take a stab at it. Hurry up! Oh my god! Oh my god. That's awesome. Oh my god, hurry the fuck up! This... Oh my god, it took that long just for one. Okay, now for the next one. It looks like boobs. Like, it looks like boobs right there. Alright. I'm starting to see why this is going really slow. This is going super slow, and she's just like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Well, shut up, Dora! Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry 
Excellent job. Now that we've injected the tumescent fluid, let's begin the liposuction. Use the suction cannula to remove the fat deposits from the patient. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, no, it comes out. Oh my god, really? You gotta be that slow. Click, 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 click. Oh my god, it's just getting inside. Oh my god. Okay, click, 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 click. I don't know if you guys can see this, but like, th this is going super slow. Look, what the fuck? They just push it back in, and then they pull it up super tiny. They pull it up really slow. Oh my, and now it's going in super slow too. That's great. That's fucking great, man. Dude, I might not even get done with this because it's going so slow. And they push it back in and then pull it out super slow. That is great! If you guys could see me right now, I am like raging. Because I hate when stuff is laggy or slow. Alright, I'm done. There. Now get the fuck out. My gosh. You're a natural. Have you ever considered a career in the medical field? No. Now that we've completed the liposuction on our patient, it's time for recovery. We're not going to suture the incisions. Since they were so small, they can heal without sutures. That looks weird. Our patient will need to wear a compression garment for two to six weeks. This garment holds the tissues together, controls swelling, and provides additional support as her body heals. <coughs> She should be able to return to normal activity within a few weeks, and there will still be some bruising that should fade within a few days. Any swelling that our patient has may take a little while longer to subside. The final result of the liposuction will be evident in about one to three months after the surgery, although they will see a noticeable difference within days or weeks. Although the suctioned fat deposits are gone, if the patient does not maintain a proper diet and exercise regimen, the remaining fat deposits could enlarge, creating irregularities in the patient's abdomen. And that's abdominal liposuction. Yes, You've done a fantastic job. Why not try your surgical skills in another great surgery? Here at SurgerySquad.com. Alrighty, guys. I hope you like watching liposuction surgery. I did not have fun playing that. I had fun playing the other one because it wasn't so laggy and stuff. But this one was, like, going super slow. It took, like, ten minutes like just to like yeah it took like 10 minutes and yeah the link will be down in the, in the description below subscribe and stuff and as i said earlier we're getting close to like these are almost done because there's not so many left and yeah alrighty guys bye